How expensive is it to live here in Bulgaria? Stay tuned to find out. Stravati Priateli, welcome back to A Taste of Bulgaria with me, Garrett. On today's episode, we're going to show you the cost of living here in Bulgaria, specifically here in Varna. Varna is the third largest city in Bulgaria after Sofia and Plovdiv, which means that the cost of living is relatively less than in Sofia. Salaries here generally are around 800 to 1,000 leva. Well, what's leva I hear you say? How much is leva in my currency? One of the best ways to transfer leva to, let's say, euro, is you just half it. Then, if you want to transfer that into pounds, you take 10% of the euro price. So, for instance, if something costs five leather, in euros, it's two euro 50 cent around. Then in pounds, take off another 10% and it's around two pound 25 pence. And you can do this with the rest of the prices, transfer the price into your currency. So if you're planning to come and live here in Varna, if you come, maybe you want to come and study or stay here full time or maybe you're just going to take an extended vacation for a couple of weeks or a couple of months then stay with us till the end of this episode and I've got some great tips on how you can really save some money here in Varna I also want to give a big shout out to all our subscribers and really thank you for all your support if you're brand new to this channel and you want to see the beauty of Bulgaria and you like to see the cost of living and how is the life here in different cities around Bulgaria or you love Bulgaria you just love to see the video content from Bulgaria consider subscribing yes of course you can just get this information for the cost of living just off Google but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around to the places give you my life experiences and I'm gonna give you the real prices as of today December 2020 which makes it also relevant for 2021 and because there's so many uh, costs or prices involved with the cost of living I'm going to split this into two episodes on the first episode we're going to give you the price of food essentials we're going to give you the cost to run a car how much it costs to get your hair cut we're going to give you prices of how much it is to eat a meal outside in a restaurant and a coffee and the most important in people's minds how much it is for telephone TV and internet so let's first of all go to a supermarket one of the most popular supermarkets here in Bulgaria is Kaufland so let's go now So this is me entering into Kaufland. But actually, I got shut down by security, this guy on the way here. They didn't allow me to really film anything. So I had to do some sneaky videos inside to show you the prices in here. Here you can see apples for one lever 49 or 199 for peaches. Potatoes for 99 a kilo or 139 a kilo. Here Purcell you have for 2649. Or there is a cheaper version, Sabex, for $15.99. Airwick air fresheners for $8.59. Plugins for $9.19. Fairy washing up liquid, $3.75. Barilla pasta, $2.99 for spaghetti, $3.09 for a short pasta. Sugar is on deal here at one lever $1.29. You can pick up flour for anything from $1.35 to $1.99. Regular sunflower oil, 
$2.99 for a litre bottle. Cosmetics and pharmaceuticals are very expensive here in Bulgaria in comparison to Germany. Sometimes you can pay up to double the price. Coffee, Nescafe, is on deal here for $3.69 for a jar. Bread is relatively cheap here. You can pick up loaves for $109, $9.49 a kilo for pork neck steak. Chicken breast is on deal here, $6.99 a kilo. Chicken leg, $4.29 a kilo. Beef mince is on deal, down from $10.99 to $7.99. Or a mixed one of pork and beef for $8.99. Sea bream, down from $17.99 to $12.99. Salmon is on also deal here, $21.99 a kilo. Eggs, $1.99 for a pack of six, or $2.35 for a pack of 10. The cheapest milk here, it's 219 a litre. A 2 litre bottle of Carmenita, 189. 189 for a bottle of Stella, 169 for a bottle of X. Cans of Heineken, 397 is on deal for 4 cans. Red wine ranges anything from 5 lever and can go all the way up to 37.49 per bottle. White wine is a similar price. Now onto the strong alcohol. Vodka here is very cheap. There is even a bottle for 749. Absolute, you can pay $26.69. Shmirnov, $24.99 a bottle. Red Label is on deal here for $17.79. Jack Daniels, $40.99 Stutinki. One of my favourite whiskies, Jameson, at $28.69 for a 750ml bottle. There is also Jim Beam for $23.99. Rakia is the alcohol of Bulgaria. You have bottles from $11.79, smaller bottle of Jägermeister for $15.00. So there you go, them are the prices from Kaufland. Now, I, I reckon that for vegetables, fruits and vegetables, and fresh things, that you definitely go down to the markets. So let's go down there and check the prices down there. So for me, I would definitely shop always down on the market because you uh, not only you get better quality down here. You are supporting local, local economy. So look here, we have here. Tomatoes for two forty a kilo. That's leather. Grapes. Cucumber for two forty leather. Lemons for three. Bell peppers one twenty a kilo. Very good price. Obviously in summer, look at this, bananas for 260 a kilo. So you can even still get strawberries quite cheap. Mushrooms, different types of mushrooms. Now is the time for the mushrooms actually. Great price there. 160 for 400 grams or four leather for a kilo. essential things for when you're cooking so stocks and sauces. Great price. See, got different ones, it's two, two lever a kilo. It's, everything is super cheap. I would definitely put, uh, recommend that you take from the markets. Yeah, we have some raspberries here, look at this. They are wild raspberries. Oh, it's eight lever a kilo, but look at them. Don't they look beautiful? Fresh herbs. Yeah. So that's for one bunch, 50, 50 stutinki. 50 stutinki is like the scent, the scent of leather. Apples. Yaboki. 140 a kilo. definitely recommend that you come down and you get your vegetables from here, not from the supermarket. Yeah, look, here we have some nuts, different kinds of nuts here. Walnuts, two leather. Two leather for a hundred grams, yeah. This is all for a hundred grams. Two, 
280 for uh, cashew nuts. Almonds, 280. So that's a great price for cashew nuts, really, isn't it? Really. Dried fruits. Look at this ginger for 100 grams, 150. And here you have a shop full with spices for different for tea. Also have nuts in the back there. See, you don't need to go to the supermarket always for everything. Here you have some uh, feta cheese, as they call it, sirene here. It's white cheese. It's not exactly feta. It's very similar. So the fish is very cheap here. We're going to take some mackerel today. Three pieces of mackerel. Coco? Awesome. So, for three pieces of, uh, I see, there. Ciao. So, for three pieces of uh, haddock, three pieces of mackerel, sorry, eight leather, it's amazing. It's like four euro. Here we are, of Vivacom. We're gonna check the price. These exactly. are the prices for the mobile telephone. Yeah. These are the prices for home internet and home, home TV. TV. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm back home with the magazine from the Vivacom. Let's go through this together. Here there is a lot of options for internet. Different prices. 17 lever will give you 300 megabytes a month. You can pay $26.99 and you can have 4 gigabyte and 100 minutes per month. You have larger deals for $30.99 for 10 gigabytes per month and 200 minutes or you can go for 51.11.99 which gives you 50 gigabyte per month a thousand minutes for the television you can have the basic standard 30 channel HD for 25 lever a month and this gives you 50 megabytes download the prices go higher and higher giving you more channels all the way up to 68 lever and this gives you 240 channels, HBO, and plus 900 megabytes download. There is also an option for pay as you go for people who are just traveling, a tourist card. This you have to top up every 25 days. And for the first eight lever, you get 400 minutes and four gigabyte. Due to this pandemic, all the restaurants and coffee bars are closed. So I'm unable to take you inside to show you the prices. So that's why I pulled off a few prices here that I will share with you now. One restaurant in particular that I've been to a couple of times is Restaurant 59. This is a medium expensive restaurant. You, know, you can pay something like 9 lever for a soup. You can pay up to 15 lever for an appetizer. Main courses range around between 20 lever up to 40 lever depending on what you have. There is also cheaper restaurants that you can probably take about 10% off this. So for two people, generally, if you wanna to go to a, a really nice, can cost you around 100 lever, including drinks. Depends how much you drink though. Coffee, generally in a coffee bar, you would usually pay around two lever for an espresso, three lever for a cappuccino or a latte, but that is depending again on which kind of coffee, which coffee place you go to. Some are a little bit more expensive and you can still get cheaper than that. Right, okay, I'm gonna show you where I get my haircut. This costs six lever, six lever for a haircut and around 15 for a female's haircut. It's just there. For 
95 unleaded, one lever 83 per litre. The 100, 224 per litre. Also I have here my insurance for the car. My car is a Toyota Yaris 1.4 litre and I paid 265 lever for a one year's insurance. Now that's third party only. You can get different levels. Um, obviously if you want to cost if you want to cover your car as well, that's gonna cost you a lot more. And if you've got a bigger car, it's also gonna cost you a little bit more. The tax for the car for a year was 110 lever. And don't forget if you want to drive your car on the highways, then you might need to buy a vignette. Vignette for seven days can cost you about 30 lever. A vignette for a month costs you about 50 lever. So if you're planning to stay here for a full year, you can make a big saving by buying for the whole year and that'll cost you around 165 lever. So tip number one, in England and most of Europe, we have Primark, but here in Bulgaria, they don't have Primark. They have another thing that they call Pepco. In Pepco, you can get all different kinds of things. You can get clothes, socks, underwear, kids' clothes. You can get toys. You can even get things for the house. So it's a great place to go if you want to save some money. The quality is not so good, but it's good if you just want to buy a few little small things. Tip number two. If you've got a car, I'm going to show you where the cheapest petrol is in Varna. Look out for the petrol station called Petroleum. This has the cheapest petrol in the whole of Varna. Some say the petrol is dirty, but I've been using this petrol for two years now in my car and have no problems. Unleaded 95, one lever 62 Stutinki. This is 20 Stutinki less on the litre. Now this you can save a lot of money with. Okay, tip number three. If you don't really like cooking, yeah, this is a great place to go to get some really homemade food and um, it's cheap anyway and then after eight o'clock at night you get 20 percent discount as well so look out for these places they're all over varna little canteens home cooked food great and you get 20 percent usually after eight o'clock so it's cheaper even still <laughs>